today's video will be on intramuscular injection so in this video we will be seeing what is intramuscular injection what is the purpose why muscle is opted what are the sites how much is the volume which needle we are going to use what is the caution tricks prerequisites rate of administration uh, indication contraindication and how to locate the anatomical sites in detail so watch the video till the end so that you will gain more knowledge so what is intramuscular injection it is nothing but injecting the medication deep into the muscle in certain depth into a bulkier muscle that's so important so why the bulkier muscle is opted is that the bulkier muscle will always have a higher vascularity so that it reaches the systemic circulation earlier and also it bypasses the first pass metabolism and emergency situation we can give the purpose of giving an intramuscular injection either would be a therapeutic purpose or a prophylactic purpose so which needle we are going to use it depends upon the gauge and the length the gauge depend upon the vascular viscous viscosity that is whenever the viscosity increases the gauge also increase it decreases so it's inversely proportional so 21 gauge is mostly used so vaccines we can use up from 23 to 25 gauge the length also varies from 25 to 38 mm based on the muscle mass and the patient weight and the amount of subcutaneous fat okay in addition we are going to see what are the most commonly used intramuscular sites dorsogluteal ventrogluteal deltoid vastus lateralis so each muscle we can opt a specific length of length of the uh, needle as I specified earlier 38 mm for the ventrogluteal 16 to 32 mm for the deltoid and 16 to 25 for vastus lateralis and also the volume certain volumes can be given in certain sites because for example if you want to give 2.5 ml you can't give in deltoid because deltoid it's only 1 ml is allowed and uh, vastus lateralis we can give up to 5 ml and ventrogluteal 2.5 and also gluteal 4 ml can be given so whenever you give an injection you have to know that the drug which you are giving should be non-irritant and also soluble most commonly you given or antibiotic vaccines and hormones so what is the caution you are going to take before intramuscular injection you have to leave a certain millimeter between the hub of the needle and the skin so even it breaks the retrieval of the needle is very easy and uh, during aspiration uh, is very important aspiration has to be done especially in the dorsal gluteal region because the dorsal gluteal artery is just running to prevent the uh, intravascular injection so how you should prepare the skin by 70 percent isopropyl alcohol the rate of administration is very important because uh, in duration may happen if you give very fastly so it is one ml per every 10 seconds slowly you have to give in addition trick of reducing the pain during intramuscular injection prior to the injection ask the patient to cough vigorously because the cough impulses are transmitted faster than the pain impulses thus the pain perceived by the brain will be very less so this is the tips to reduce the pain by the patient perceived by the patient so what are the prerequisites of intramuscular injection it is five hours starting from right patient right drug right dose right site at the right timing so what is the indication and contraindication indication is that when the patient is reluctant uncooperative non-compliant and other routes of administration is not possible in that case you can give contraindication would be if the site is infected then you can't give a person with a myocardial infection you can't give because the muscle enzymes which is stimulated by the IM injection will be uh, confused with that of the uh, troponin which is released in the acute MI. Also in uh, blood disorders like coagulation disorders and uh, thrombocytopenia we can't use and uh, hypovolemic shock because the blood volume is reduced so that the vascularity which is very much uh, uh, principle behind the intramuscular injection so vascularity will be less in this case so in hypovolemic shock we can't use a intramuscular injection because there will be a delayed action and uh, in myopathies and muscle dystrophies you shouldn't use because it may lead to neurovascular complication also and also in allergies to certain drugs we can't use so there is a special technique for intramuscular injection that is called Z-Track -te technique. This technique is mainly used because 
to prevent the leakage in the injection site after you remove the needle from that site the drug shouldn't just flow out of this place again so always place the needle perpendicular to the tissue and also you have to stretch the skin slightly you have to slightly stretch the skin so that you will disperse in an area which is away from the site of injection okay skin is stretched so that the subcutaneous fat will be dispersed and then after injection you remove the needle so as you have stretched then the drug will be here but your site of injection will be here so the drug will be trapped inside it will if you are not stretching no this drug will be here it will drug will come out so when you are giving in this method the drug will be trapped in the muscle so that there will be no leakage and back tracking of the medication in the injection site so next would be an in detail about how to locate so you know everything about im so next we will be seeing how to locate these particular sites coming to the dorsal gluteal region this is the buttocks region you have to divide arbit uh, imaginary line into four quadrants that is on the four quadrants this is the outer quadrant again you are going to divide this outer quadrant into outer quadrant and inner quadrant the site of injection would be an outer quadrant of the outer quadrant so in addition it should be 5 to 7.5 cm below the iliac crest this is the iliac crest 5 to 7 cm below the iliac crest and it is the outer quadrant of the outer quadrant so this is the outer quadrant of the outer quadrant okay outer quadrant of the outer quadrant then ventro gluteal site how you can locate so this is the heel of the hand so the heel of the hand should be placed in the greater trochanter region and you have to place this is the greater trochanter okay this greater trochanter region you have to keep your heel of the hand and then place the index finger towards the anterior superior iliac crest and the middle finger below the iliac crest so this will form a triangle so in this big triangle which area you are going to give in between in between the knuckles of the two fingers you are going to give the injection so this is the anatomical location of ventro gluteal next we are going to see how we are going to locate the deltoid so you know the acromion process so our acromion process is here that is 2.5 to 5 cm below the acromion process this is the deltoid region so this is the site of injection and coming to the vastus lateralis region vastus lateralis site okay this site will be determined this is the thigh region this is the right this is the knee okay this is this region we have to locate greater trochanter of femur is here and lateral femoral condyle of the knee is here so this is the limit upper and the lower limit so this limited area we are going to section it into outer third middle third and inner third upper third middle third and the lower third so six quadrants will be formed in this we are going to choose only the outer middle quadrant okay this is upper middle and lower okay this is lower middle and upper so we are going to this is outer middle and inner so outer middle so this portion we are going to outer middle quadrant okay outer middle third of the thigh we are going to inject the injection this is the site of vastus lateralis so this is the overall view of intramuscular injection hope you would have enjoyed the video so kindly subscribe to the channel to for the upcoming videos